Okay, hello everyone. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to define material in ETAP. Okay, to define material in ETAP, we can go to uh, to this option to define. Click on define, and we go to uh, material property. Okay, in material property, we have four four material. Uh, this material is for steel. This material is for concrete. This material is for uh, for rebar. Okay, for rebar. <coughs> and this is material for tenon for tenon cable okay okay now i create material for concrete so we create material for concrete we click on uh, on this material and we click on add copy of material we don't create new we, we we just copy to create okay click on add copy of material and now we can put this uh, material name i i want to create a uh, concrete uh, 30 megapascal so i put uh, c 30 okay c 30 and this uh i don't i don't change about it i don't change this concrete color okay uh like uh wait per unit volume uh for concrete 25 kilo newton per cubic meter cubic meter and more elastic we don't change we go to this option modify so material property and now we change this grade uh frame c and we change this we just change this uh c 30 so we just change this to 30 mpa okay and the concrete is not like with concrete so we don't take any we don't take this okay then we click on OK and then we click on OK again and now we can see uh, C30 and I want to create one more C35 okay I just uh, click on C30 and I just click on add copy of material and then I change this name to C35 and create isometric isotropic okay 25 and we change change uh, 30 to 35 compressive strength 35 and then we click on ok and now we click on ok again okay now we can see the concrete uh, property we have uh, c30 and c35 uh, in this is uh, we put it 30 it uh, it's mean uh, certify compressive strength of cylinder and certify MPA of uh, cylinder compressor compressive strength. Okay, now we go to put the material of rebar. Okay, we click on this, click on modify, and we can see a material type of rebar. Okay, now I I change the name to uh, I I put for the form bar DB thirty three hundred ninety. It is a material in my in, in my location db the form bar and this is i don't change uh unit weight and now i go to change this uh a minimum yield strength of f y uh db 9390 this is a material in my location it uh 390 mpa and minimum tensile strength is around uh, 402.9 and expected yield strength 390 expected tensile strength 429 mpa uh this material is uh according to my location and in your location i don't know i i don't i don't know in your location so if you you want to change it it, it don't mind okay and then click on okay and then click on OK again. This is a material for for rebar. Oh, I click on modify. Okay, it, it, it doesn't mind. So we click on on this property again, and I click on add copy of material. I create one more. I create one more. I create a round bar to certify. Normal to certify and I go to this 
uh, to certify and minimum ten size strength is around uh, 280 to 58 to certify and uh, 258 okay and then I click on okay okay and I click on okay again okay now I, ca I can see uh, it is for concrete and it is for uh, the form bar for round bar for uh, rebar and now i create one more uh, i create one more per material for uh, steel for, for steel for e steel or, or for tube steel okay okay now i just click on this property and i check it first i click on modify and we can see the material types of uh, steel okay so I click on this and then I click on add copy of material. I put the name of it, I put the E steel. Okay, I put E I steel, okay. Uh 235. Okay. And then I click on modify property, modify material property design data. And this is around this is a uh, 235. It is the material in my location so uh, another data in your location I, I don't know you can put the data in your location okay okay and this uh, to certify this still used in uh, Cambodia in Cambodia this they always use this uh, string okay okay and then I click on OK and then I click on OK again Okay, now we can see uh, material we, we create uh, C30, C35, DB390, DB235, and E steel 235. Okay, and another tendon. Tendon, I don't, I don't create it. So, uh, for concrete, you can change, you can create more, you can create more property. For example, for tall building, you can, you need to create a bigger strength so I, I create one more for you I create a uh, one more I just click on it and I click on add copy of material and I put it a uh, C40 C40 it is the same and I go to compressive strength okay compressive strength 40 MPA and then I click on OK OK and then I click on OK again and now we can see uh, C30, C35, and C40. Okay, thank you for your watching. And this is how to define metering in